Hello, I am Nathan Bailey with 3CX, and in this training video, we will continue to look at the functionality and options in the 3CX MyPhone. The Call History tab displays your call history listed as name, number, date and time, duration of the call, and status. You can filter by type from the list at the top, and you can also delete your call history by using the red X. The Voicemail tab allows you to visually take control of your voicemail. The available features are Delete a voicemail, Play your voicemail. This option will play the voicemail in your media player on your local computer. Next is Play on phone. This will call your extension and play your voicemail for you. Next, you can mark a voicemail as heard, and next, as new, and even call the person back. The Voicemail tab displays date and time, the message was left, and duration of the voicemail and the caller ID of the caller. And as you can see, up near the time, you can see the voicemail icon is displayed, notifying you that you have a waiting voicemail. The phone book tab lists your personal, company, and built-in system phone book of extensions. You can search for a particular entry or select one or all of the phone books to display. Only members of the management group can add company phone book entries, and you cannot edit or delete extensions on the local 3CX phone system but you can add or edit or delete personal phone book entries. When you type a name or number into the dial pad text box in the upper left corner, it will try to resolve the name or number to the phone book in my phone for easy number dialing. Last but not least, you can import phone book entries via CSV file format. The format in the CSV file should be first name, comma, last name, comma, phone book number in a single line. The next tab is the settings tab. Depending on the rights you give extensions will determine what a user will see here in the sub-tab section. As you can see here, I have the following tabs, extension details, forwarding rules, and preferences. The first two tabs are general information regarding the logged-in extension like email address, name, mobile number, and voicemail settings. Forwarding rules tab allows users to change how calls are handled with different present statuses, but we will be focusing on the preferences tab in this video. The first portion of the Settings Preferences tab lists desktop components and what version you have installed and if you have them installed or not, with a button to install if you haven't installed them yet. The Notifications section allows users to specify if they want the MyPhone application to come to the front of the screen when a call comes in and if you want it to still focus or not. You can configure MyPhone to notify you with a pop-up window on incoming calls which will display caller ID and allow you to answer, reject, or send the call to voicemail. You can also notify an external program or CRM application of an incoming call. The help icon next to it will give an example for you to test this functionality. Also, you can tell my phone when to notify, on ringing, or when you answer the call, as well as parameters to pass to the application. The next section of the Preferences tab under Display allows you to change how extensions are listed in My Phone Extensions tab by first or last name. If sort by extensions by name is checked. You can then select your language if you need to use another language other than the default and choose a different theme for my phone when they become available. The dialing section allows you to choose how calls are triggered on your phone, either on your desk phone or with the 3CX phone for Windows integration, and if you want to use intercom when calling. This will answer your phone automatically for you when you dial a number through the my phone portal. You can specify a URL to trigger calls on your desk phone and enable a quick dial hotkey. The miscellaneous section is a new feature to Service Pack 3 and allows users to automatically change your present status when you are away from your desk after a defined amount of time, and what status to change to, and if you want to automatically log out of the queue. If you set this and leave your desk, say if your defined time is 3 minutes, your status will change after 3 minutes of idle time on your computer and log you out of the queue if set to, and when you return, any activity on your computer will automatically switch your status back to available and log you into the queue if it logged you out. You can also set a default orbit number for parking calls and set it to automatically increment if you park multiple calls in my phone. Next, we have Microsoft Outlook integration. You can configure the location of contact records when you store new entries, and if you want a contact record to pop up on incoming calls. If you select this, 3CX MyPhone will check entries in your contact records for entries with the incoming caller ID, 
and pop up the record, and if it cannot match the caller ID, a new contact record will be displayed with the number added for you. For chat, you can disable your chat ability, disable sound notifications on incoming messages, and block certain extensions from being able to chat with you. Finally, we have the prefix section. This is for making outbound calls in my phone and how it will trigger outbound rules from within the 3CX phone system. By entering the conference tab and pressing the create button, you will be able to create a new conference as shown in this screen. You can add extensions, external numbers, or an already active call. Give the conference a name and press OK and 3CX MyPhone will call all requested parties and join them automatically to your conference, even external numbers. Keep in mind, you are limited to 32 calls per conference or the available amount of simultaneous calls your license allows. If after joining the conference you need to edit it, you can select it in the list and click Edit and add more users to the conference or remove someone from the conference. From the Extensions tab, you will have the ability to interact with other users on the system. Depending on the rights you have been given by your administrator, you will have the options to call an extension, chat with an extension, call their mobile number, leave them a voicemail, intercom the extension, or log out from queues or create a conference. You can even interact with an incoming call, divert it to another extension, and send to voicemail and more. All of this depends on the rights you have been given and the type of license you purchased for a 3CX phone system. Not all features will be available in some cases. If allowed by your administrator, you can use my phone remotely. To do so, you need to be sure port 5000 is properly forwarded on the WAN to LAN device on the 3CX phone system side. Then, you need to either install my phone locally on your PC using the static public IP address of the 3CX phone system. This has been Nathan Bailey with 3CX. Thank you for watching part two of our introduction to my phone. I hope this information has been informative and more training material is available at the link provided.